Durham is a foodie city known for all different sorts of dining experiences. Everything from soul food to international cuisine has made the best of list in local magazines. If you like food like we do, then Durham has to be a stop on your travels. We have 36 hours to find some amazing restaurants throughout the city. So, let's get it. To kickstart our day today, we went to Coco Cinnamon, which is a Latina-led, women-forward, independent coffee roaster here in Durham. There are a few different locations. We are one kind of close to downtown. Every time we go to a local coffee shop on our travels, I try and pick up a bag of beans. So I got this one to bring home with us today. And this roaster was the 2021 Roaster of the Year finalist and 2022 Roaster of the Year winner. I love churros. If you've never had them, which I don't know why you wouldn't have, I'd describe them as basic as fried dough, but better. And at the Lakewood Coco Cinnamon, you can get them fresh, fluffy, and made to order. And with the churros, you get to choose from four different types of sugar. We were split on which one was our favorite, but I think we were both in agreement that the one that kind of tasted like ginger, it was probably the orange sugar one. We weren't really big fans of that one. So right now we're here in Brightleaf Square, which is a cute little shopping-ish area. Not gonna lie, it's Black Friday, so I thought it'd be a little bit more bustling than it is right now. It is pretty quiet, but there does seem to be some super cute shops in the area and a dessert place that smelled very good on our way in. Durham Food Hall actually opened rather recently in 2020. The hall consists of 10 eateries, each with their own unique menu catered from locally sourced and seasonal ingredients. I decided to order a crunch wrap from Exvoto, and I am a huge Taco Bell crunch wrap supreme fan. So I had to get the crunch wrap here. It was incredible. The meat was beautifully marinated. The whole thing was delicious and filling, and I wish I could eat one every single day. Meanwhile, I had wood fire pizza from Napoli. Now, each pizza is made from scratch, and it was really good, but I kind of wish I had that crunch wrap. Simon Says Dip This gets credit for the best name. Like the name suggests, they dip ice cream in just about anything you can dip ice cream in. Here's how it works. First, you choose a cone, a cup, or an ice cream sandwich. You pick one of 24 flavors to dip your ice cream in, and then you choose from a variety of toppings to roll your ice cream in. They also have a really good selection of cookies. The American Tobacco Campus has some great restaurants too. Although we didn't have a chance to eat here, we did talk about it in our last video. We also went to, well, should we try pronouncing this name for you? We did film inside, it was delicious, but a little too dark to show the footage of. tried to look good doing that, it was too hot. <laughs> you fake it. Oh. Close. Another day, another stop at a local coffee shop. Today we are at Cloche Coffee. I am warming up with a nice cappuccino. Tony got the bougiest drink I've ever heard of. Toasted marshmallow latte with oat milk. Toasted marshmallow pumpkin latte with oatmeal. That's milk. even worse. 
<laughs> but delicious coffee. The inside of the shop is very cute, very like light, airy vibes. Lots of plants, which we love. Wish we could keep them alive, but definitely a good coffee shop in Durham. For lunch, we decided to try a cuisine that we have never had before. Luna Rotisserie and Empanadas came highly recommended and had an incredible menu of rotisserie meat dishes and super fun cocktails. We tried yucca fries for the first time, which was very interesting, but they were very delicious. I don't know what it is, but it's good. And my chicken meal was incredible. I got the Peruvian roast chicken with pimento mac and cheese and black beans with coconut rice. And I got the chili braised beef brisket with spicy bacon collard greens and mac and cheese. The brisket had a nice smoky flavor to it. The collard greens were great, they weren't too salty. And the mac and cheese was good too, just different. Maybe it was the pimento, but it tasted more potato-y, if that makes any sense. I did not finish at all, and this cocktail is very strong. <laughs> Oh, and if anyone's interested, we also had the saddest Thanksgiving dinner that we bought from Walmart. Sarah said it tastes like cat food. Honestly, so many places here in Durham had like four, four and a half stars. So it was really hard to choose where to eat. We're also here over a holiday, so some of the hours were a little wonky. So due to all that, we had a lot of places on our list that we did not get to experience this trip. Yeah, there certainly are a lot of great restaurants in Durham. But what I like the most about it is a lot of the restaurants will get their produce locally from farms. And they really strive for like sustainability. So uh, this place is up and coming and the food here is amazing. Yeah, there certainly are a lot of great restaurants in Durham.